was looking at you. <laughs> I went to a, presenta a presentation on Japanese culture. And it was interesting to me. So it was so interesting to me that I went home and got on the internet and pulled up more information because to me, I see that Japanese culture is different from American culture. And it was so different that I decided to do my speech on the differences. In culture, the Japanese have been raised to think of themselves as part of a group. If a person wants to do something, they must ask a pers uh, the whole group for permission. In America, we're raised to basically be individuals and think for ourselves. So if we want to do something, yeah, we may ask somebody, but not to I tell we're not even going to ask. We just go ahead and do it. We might suffer the consequences afterwards, but we still just go ahead and do it. Another comparison that I found unique between the Japanese and Americans is that if, and this was kind of weird to me, if an American says to you, hey, let's have dinner sometime, you know, that means, okay, yeah, we can get together and have dinner and, you know, have a conversation or anything like that, you know. But as far as the Japanese go, if they say to you, let's have dinner sometimes, they don't really mean just let's get together and sit down and eat. They actually mean, hmm, I wonder if we can get along. I'm like, wow, that's kind of crazy, you know? Because yeah. if you mention food, I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to eat. So I'm not thinking about whether I'm going to get along with you or not. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner that night. Um, another thing that differentiates the differ, differentiates the culture is eye contact. In America, it is a sign of respect to have eye contact when a person is talking to you, and you know you look at them because that lets them know that you're interested in what they're trying to say to you. You may not understand it, but you're still interested in what they're saying. For the Japanese, holding eye contact with another person is considered rude or even aggressive. I'm like, wow, you know, if I look at somebody, I don't want them to feel like I'm being aggressive, but that's just the way it is. They tend to focus on other things like the nose and lips or whatever is in the background. They won't give you eye contact. Another thing is communication. Japanese tend to use words only part of use words as only part of the message so they may say a few words and then they just leave it alone but their body language and the silence and the mode or the tone that they use completes the whole sentence the Japanese believe that it is better to talk too little than too much whereas in America we always talk. I mean, to the point where some people are like, we talk too much. You know, because we're always talking. Um, for an average Japanese conversation, only a few words need to be said to get the point across. In America, you know, 10 to 15 words being said, that's what we're trying to do to get our point across. It may take more, it may take less, but that's what we do. The Japanese tend to be indirect and ambiguous, which I thought was very odd. They give very little explanation as to what they mean, and their answers are often very vague. So if you say, what are we doing today, they may just kind of look at you with silence, like you're supposed to just figure it out. But in America, what are we doing today? Oh, I'm about to go to school. And then after I get out of school, I'm going to go pick up my kid. You know, that's a big difference. They also will not tell you if they don't understand something. And often leave sentences unfinished, allowing for the person that they're talking to to finish the sentence in their own mind. I 
I guess they work on telepaths. I don't know. That I, that just doesn't make sense to me. Because I know in America, I can give you an answer to a question. It may be long-winded, but I still give you an answer. And you'll understand what I'm saying. And if I don't understand what you're saying to me, trust and believe I'm going to ask questions. There's schooling. The basic schooling system in Japan is composed of elementary schools. Elementary schools last six years. Middle school lasts about three years. And high school lasts three years also. In America, elementary school is only five years. Our middle schools are the same because you go to middle school for three years as well. But in high school, you have four years. The thing that got me was that Japanese school year starts in April after the child turns six years old. Whereas here, children can start school at the age of four, you know, head start. So you start, I mean, you can even be three years old depending on how your birthday falls. Um, so usually, and it also starts about late August, early September. The subjects in school that they do are basically the same as us. They do the math, they do social studies, they do English, but they also do Japanese art, such as shodo, which is basically calligraphy, and haiku, which is like poem writing, because you can become famous doing haiku. In America, we only have anywhere from 20 to 25 students in a class. Like right now, there's about 20 to 25 of us in here now. But in Japan, they have like 30 to 40 students in a classroom. Can you imagine teaching that many little kids at one time? That's crazy. So, in conclusion, I have realized that Japanese culture is very different from Americans in quite a few different ways. I have mentioned to you a few of them culture, communication, and schooling, and I can see why it would be hard to adjust 